Hello fans. Welcome back. In a series of intriguing events taking place at Maine Medical Center on Tuesday, August 15, it was revealed that Gregory began a midday date with his son and his son's girlfriend. Gregory would bring up a sensitive topic regarding their fiancé, making the situation somewhat uncomfortable. Gregory sought solace as his condition worsened because of ALS. As Gregory's condition continued to worsen, his tendency to withdraw grew stronger. His partner's confused and suspicious gaze reflects his own inner turmoil, highlighting the complexity of human interactions and the barriers that often stand in the way of true connection. Portia has embarked on a profound journey to guide Curtis in getting much-needed help. This pivotal encounter takes place within the confines of a rehabilitation facility, where Curtis finds himself confronted by Portia. At first, Curtis, his uncertainty cast a shadow over his ability to seek help. However, Portia remained steadfast in their belief that with his willingness to rely on the support of those closest to him, he could overcome the formidable test he faced. Face. In a separate thread of the ongoing story, Brooke Lynn engaged in a heartfelt conversation with Nina. Sasha's health concerns in an unfamiliar location became the focus of their exchange. With empathy in her voice, Brooke Lynn echoes Nina's worries, painting a vivid picture of Sasha's emotional struggles during her recent visit. Venturing into another episode set in Sonny's magnificent mansion, Dex Heller has stood his ground, refusing to let anyone find a way to breach the threshold. The urgency of the situation suggests the presence of a problem that requires prompt and undisturbed attention. This ploy is amplified when referring to a fake flash drive containing false data, a plot point that alludes to layers of deception and manipulation. Meanwhile, within the confines of Sonny's workspace, Ava struggles with the burden of responsibility. Seeking strategic guidance, she navigates the troubles of managing a host of personalities, including the mysterious Betty and Mason. All under the supervision of a mysterious superior now called simply, he. This nomenclature change is not random but a deliberate choice, indicating a deliberate change in the story. In the midst of this maze of characters and motives, Sunny herself took a firm stance. Confident with his decision to remove the central character, he shows unwavering faith in the path he has chosen. However, Ava's worries are still there, a testament to the uncertainty that often shrouds the execution of even the most carefully crafted plans. As the story moves forward, a promise of many twists and turns appears on the horizon. Sunny's elaborate scheme promises to intensify, weaving a web of intrigue that will captivate audiences in upcoming episodes of this gripping television production airing on ABC. Finally, Molly and TJ are about to engage in a transformative exchange with a potential surrogate named Andrea. This meeting is no ordinary rendezvous, it is the intersection of hopes and dreams, where discussions about family aspirations will take place. That's what happened in Tuesday's episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.